I know you've seen them all over the internet, all over social media. You know, those pictures of that uh, giant buck that was killed by a local hunter that was posted by a friend of a friend of a friend whose second cousin supposedly killed this freakishly big animal. But, you know, you question the authenticity of the story and the, the image, which most likely had to be digitally altered, and rightly so. You just don't know if it's true or not. But, you know, when we change the scenario a little bit, and we see the same photograph, but the guy in the picture is your best friend and your hunting buddy, then the story and the image seem to be a little bit more plausible. It's something that you can check out. You know, it's much more believable when it's someone that you actually know is the contributor of that photograph. That which before seemed too good to be true is actually the gospel truth. You know, we just celebrated Easter. It's the most sacred of days in the Christian faith. The truth of our faith hinges on the fact whether Jesus was resurrected from the dead or not. There are many that do not believe this to be true. Now, the Apostle John addressed this skepticism when he wrote 1 John 1.1. 1, 1. He said this, he said, That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked at, and our hands have touched, this we proclaim concerning the word of life. And he goes on to talk about Jesus. Now, John was writing to a, the local church a generation after the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. He was an eyewitness of Jesus' death and resurrection. John was writing to, to those that he had walked with and talked with daily. They were people that he knew, they, they, and they knew him. They knew he was an eyewitness. It was a first-hand account. Theoretically, he actually had his hands on the antlers, and they knew it. Still today, we wrestle with the same questions. Is Jesus who he claimed he is? And did he actually rise from the dead? Now, the way we answer these questions will ultimately decide our fate for all eternity. So it's, it's really worth the investigation to find the truth. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of iHunt TV's Tree Stand Devotional. I'm praying that you find this message today challenging and will earnestly seek the truth of the gospel message of Jesus Christ. Have a blessed day.